Reading Course Development for English 115 Students Chapter 3. The Art of Gardening Unit 1. Gardening Giant, Howard Dill Objectives. After completing this unit, students will be able to Explain who is Howard Dill Recall the weight of giant pumpkins and understand the success story of Howard Dill. Paragraph 1. Howard Dill is a giant among giant pumpkin growers. He grew world champion pumpkins for four consecutive years, from 1979 to 1982, and missed winning the fifth year by a mere five pounds. Today his Dill Atlantic giant seeds are sold worldwide to more than 50 seed companies. The pumpkins grown from his Dill Atlantic giant seeds commonly weigh in at over 1,000 pounds. I don't have any training in genetics. It was all trial and error, Dill says. He inherited his love of pumpkins from his father and has enjoyed growing them for years. Paragraph 2. Dill still grows giant pumpkins, but not for competition. In the fall, visitors come to enjoy the pumpkin patch on his 90-acre farm in Nova Scotia, Canada. He plants 10 acres of pumpkins for Halloween, and two acres of giant pumpkins was recently baked into 442 pumpkin pies and sold at $5 each for charity. Paragraph 3. If you want to try growing a giant pumpkin, Dill recommends starting with a soil test and then adding fertilizer as needed. Lastly, plant the giant pumpkin seed. A giant pumpkin can gain 15 to 20 pounds a day, so careful watering every day or two is essential. You should wait about 130 days until the pumpkin matures, and then you can harvest it. Paragraph 4. Dill's favorite pumpkin set the Guinness Book record in 1981. It weighed 493.5 pounds. Dill commented, I've grown them larger since, but that one meant a lot. He stated, I never would have predicted ten years ago that there would be a thousand pounder, but there are many of them now, says Dill. The 2006 world record holder is Larry Chekon of Pennsylvania. He grew a 1,469 pounder. Dill says these world champions are grown from my seeds, so I feel like a winner right along with them. Match the following words with its correct meaning on the right. Number one, trial and error. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. D, testing different ways to do something. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary words trial and error. Muhammad, can you please talk about this? Well, I see different tools in this picture and tools are usually used to do something in different ways and that's what trial and error means do things in different ways now let's take a look at the paragraph giving us the vocabulary words trial and error let's read the sentence I don't have any training in genetics it was all trial and error Dill says Number two, patch. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. F. A small piece of land used for growing vegetables. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word patch. In this picture, we see a lot of pumpkins. Muhammad, can you talk about this? Well, I see a pumpkin patch in this picture, and it's a small piece of land used to growing vegetables, which is patch. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word patch. I'll read the sentence for you. In the fall, visitors come to enjoy the pumpkin patch on his 90-acre farm in Nova Scotia, Canada. Number three, charity. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. E. An organization that helps people. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word charity. Mohammed, can you talk about this? Well, in this picture I see someone helping the other one 
providing some help. And I assume he's from the, an organization to help him. And that's what charity means. Let's look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word charity. I'll read the sentence for you. He plants 10 acres of pumpkins for Halloween and two acres of giant pumpkins was recently baked into 442 pumpkin pies and sold at $5 each for charity. Number four, fertilizer. Mohammed, can you give us the correct meaning on the right? A, plant food. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word fertilizer. Mohammed, can you please talk about this? Well, I see a brown soil in here. And they use it to let the grass and the plants eat it. And that's what fertilizer means, a plant food. Let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word fertilizer. I'll read the sentence for you. If you want to try growing a giant pumpkin, Dill recommends starting with a soil test and then adding fertilizer as needed. Number five, to mature. Mohammed, can you please provide the correct meaning on the right? B. To become fully grown. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word to mature. Mohammed, can you talk about this? Well, in this picture, I see a plant, and it's growing up. And the process of growing fully up is to mature. And mat to mature means to become fully grown. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word matures. I'll read the sentence for you. You should wait about 130 days until the pumpkin matures and then you can harvest it. Number six, to harvest. Muhammad, please provide the correct meaning on the right. C, to pick the plants you have grown. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word Harvest. Mohammed, can you talk about this? Well, I see in this picture a machine taking the plants that they have grown. And that's what to harvest means. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word harvest. I'll read the sentence for you. You should wait about 130 days until the pumpkin matures and then you can harvest it. Choose the best answer. Question number one. Howard Dill is A. The owner of a giant pumpkin seed company. Now let's look at a paragraph that gives us this answer. I'll highlight the sentence for you. Today his Dill Atlantic giant seeds are sold worldwide to more than 50 seed companies. If his seeds are sold worldwide, that means he has a company. Question number two. Howard Dill inherited his love of pumpkins from? B. His father. Now let's take a look at the paragraph which gives us this answer. At the bottom of the paragraph it reads, He inherited his love of pumpkins from his father and has enjoyed growing them for years. Question number three. Howard Dill's farm is located in? C. Nova Scotia. Now let's take a look at a paragraph which gives us this answer. I'll read the sentence for you. In the fall, visitors come to enjoy the pumpkin patch on his 90-acre farm in Nova Scotia, Canada. Now let's have a discussion. Mohammed, could you please tell us some of the things you learned? Well, I learned in this unit that Howard Dill is a giant pumpkin grower and seed company owner and it's really common for giant pumpkins to weigh over a thousand pounds lastly Howard Dill became successful by trial and error and he also loves what he's doing 